Okay, and then the last part of this assembly and unboxing of the uh, of the uh, Flash Ford AD5X is we're going to put some filament in it. And uh, by the way, I suggest that you just go ahead and purchase some filament because uh, what comes with it is an absolute joke. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. I mean, they didn't even try to try to give you a spool or nothing. There's a little plastic bag with probably five feet of each color. So. Go ahead when you order, if, you, if you're buying a Flash Forge 85X, go ahead and order you some filament at the same time. Don't waste your time with that silliness that they, they send with it. But anyway, as you can see here, I've got me a fresh spool here. And it's got these little, uh, obviously we mounted them earlier. This is your reel holders. And by the way, if you haven't noticed, I, you don't have to do this, but I have a, a, a label maker. So I label them one, two, three, and four because uh, that's the way they're, they're labeled. Is, it starts with one at the top, two, three, and four, so basically counterclockwise. And I probably would remember, but I thought I'll just go ahead and label them, just less confusion. So anyway, we'll go ahead and we're going to take the, the reel. And it just slides on, and uh, you want to make sure and get the right size hub reel. I'm using this D Deeply um, Rapid PLA, but uh, I mean, just make sure that some of the reels have a bigger hole than this one. And uh, with this printer especially, you definitely need the, the reel needs to fit it. But this was like $11, $12 a spool filament off of Amazon. So it wasn't like any high dollar stuff. But anyway, you just slide it on there like that. And then what we want to do, if you see right here on this controller, it's got a one, two, three, and four. So we just want to take our filament. I made a nice clean cut on the end. And we're just going to take it and just push it into uh, number one here. Tube number one. It'll just fit in there. And just uh, kind of get it to where you to where you feel it, get a little tension and push past it, probably three or four inches in it. And then we're going to come over here to the printer screen. And what we're going to do over here is we're going to push filament, and then we're going to select one because that's where we put it in. We're going to hit edit, the little edit button there, and this is uh, going to be PLA as you saw on the spool. So the PLA carbon fiber, but this is just regular PLA. So we're going to hit PLA there, and then the color. Well, the color is black, so we just go ahead and select our color. Whoops. Select our color, and then hit OK. And now we've got real one with PLA, which you don't want to mix your... I guess technically could as long as you didn't mix it on your print bed. I mean, you could have a PTEG and two and a PLA and one and you could do it that way but you couldn't PLA and PTEG are not going to stick to each other so you couldn't do it on the same project but but anyway I've digressed but basically that's what you do and then you just do that four times with the four colors you want you know go ahead and take your put another reel on here you know another reel on three and you just follow it two goes to hold two three will go to three and four go to four and now you got your printer loaded and of course you need to go on the computer on the printer itself and set what the color is and what type of filament it is which to load it you want to hit the button that shows loading it so when you hit that and what it's going to do of course it's going to have to heat up we'll have to wait for that but basically what it's going to do well we'll go ahead and wait what you have to do now is you have to wait till it gets heated up um, it's almost there now at 216 once it gets up to 220 it will go ahead and start pushing the filament so what it's going to do now if we watch over here it's going to start pulling that filament in as you can see i mean and this is basically all there is to loading it so it's going to go ahead and pull the filament all the way in and of course you need to do this for each one of the uh, colors. But once you got it loaded, you're ready to rock and roll. But as you can see, it's just pulling it. What it will do is it'll go ahead and it's going to purge any old filament out of it, as it says, and then it'll be done and it'll be ready to go. And if you just wanted to use one color, technically you could go over to your Orca flash print and start printing. By the way, when you go to the Orca flash print, you will also need to on it identify what kind of filament it is and what color on it as well, so that the two correspond with each other. So you got to set it on the printer and on the Orca flash forward. It's not hard. Uh, I've already learned it, and I've only had the printer a couple days. So basically, right there, it was doing the cleaning of the old filament. It, basically, what it's doing is it's, it's 
purging any filaments in the head and then it'll retract it back so that that's how the four colors works and that gets into a whole other discussion but basically that's it that that filament is loaded and ready to go all i have to do is come over here and load up number two load up number three number four and follow that process and then i'm off and printing okay guys i was editing that video and thought i'd go ahead and add this in um if you don't want to hang around i'm going to have a few uh videos over this uh this you know new flash forge 85x as you can see i bought me the flash forge enclosure kit it uh makes it a little bit quieter and it also keeps the temperature more balanced inside of it so i went ahead and bought the kit off amazon i'll provide links for that as well since i'm going to be putting it in, in, in a uh, enclosure i went ahead and bought an led kit for it um, in which i'll provide i also bought an led kit for it which i'll provide a link for that but uh, we'll, we'll go through the steps of uh, installing the uh, light kit and the uh, ADX-5X. And as you can see, I have been using the AD-5X. This is all the parts that you print to finish up the uh, enclosure kit. And uh, it's been doing a great job printing. That was all PTEG. So anyway, I uh, look forward to the next video coming out on this, which will be installing the LED light and the enclosure. And I'll try to make it simple and stupid for us because... If you're like me, um, I try to make it simple and easy to follow. I, I know a lot of these videos I see, they get way too deep into it and they don't get to the, the meat of the subject, which is just show me how to do it. I don't know how many times I watch a video and I'm like, cut the fluff, just show me how to do it. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I've got some more coming on the Flash Forge. Hopefully uh, it'll help some people out. As always, have a great day out there. If you haven't subscribed, please take a chance to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. It always helps the uh, algorithm on YouTube and my videos. And as always, have a great day. This is Electron Man.